Welcome! Today, we will be making a delicious cauliflower crust pizza. So, let's get right to it! To make our cauliflower crust pizza, we're going to take the florets and pulse it in a food processor so that we get a rice-like texture. If not, then you can also grate it and get that same texture. I should probably put down the knife. This is the type of texture that you want from the cauliflower florets. Let me show you guys. It's a very fine, like, rice. So, now we're going to uh, steam it, and I'm going to be doing this the easier way and doing it in the microwave. To steam our cauliflower florets, we're just gonna loosely cover this and put it in the microwave for about four to five minutes or just until it becomes soft. Once the cauliflower is steamed, you wanna let it cool for a bit before you handle it. And I've added it to a cheesecloth, so now we're just going to drain out all the water from it. So now, we are going to add in an egg and half a cup of shredded cheese and just a pinch of salt and now we're going to mix it all together So we've combined everything here for our cauliflower crust pizza. This isn't like your typical pizza base, so we're not gonna roll it out. We're just going to uh, set it with our hands. And you can actually just set it into any shape that you like. So we're going to set it up on our parchment paper, which I've added a bit of oil to, just to make sure that the base does not stick to it. And we're going to put it in the oven, which is being preheated at 220 Celsius or 425 Fahrenheit. Our cauliflower crust is out of the oven. And now we're going to add some toppings on it. I'm doing a bit of tomato sauce. I'm not gonna add too much because I don't want the uh, cauliflower crust to get soggy. A bit of tomato pizza sauce on there. A little bit of cheese. So remember, there is cheese in the crust, so we don't wanna add too much. Just a little bit. So I think that's good enough. A bit of uh, fresh bongo chilies. So. And uh, you guys let me know what you usually use for your pizza toppings. Get creative with it. A lot of people like pineapples, mushrooms. So let me know what you guys prefer for your toppings. I'm doing a bit of onions and some mint leaves so there's like a freshness and a herb flavor on there. A bit of that. And then this is gonna go back into the oven just for about five minutes so that the cheese gets melted and everything comes together. Our cauliflower crust pizza is ready to be served. Cauliflower is a great source of vitamin C and has loads of fiber. This is a great way to use cauliflower, which is in season right now in Fiji. So this is just an example of how you can get creative with it. Definitely give this one a try. I'm sure the kids will love it. It's a great way to get them to eat cauliflower. So, 
Do you want to try one? Yeah. I have a kid here right now, so let's see if she likes it or not. Here, you want to try it out? Here. How is it? Delicious. Delicious. Yes. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more wonderful local recipes. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye!